Hey guys, Christine here, and I hope this reading finds you doing well. So I'm gonna set the attention that this reading be, oh, okay. So look at, you got the heartbreak and the lovers. But the, when you see the three of swords, it gets a really bad rap because it's about grief and it's about loss, right? But this is also about going through the heartbreak so you can really align with what was right for you and your values. So understand that this heartbreak, this loss, this grieving process that you're going through, um, allow yourself to experience it because what it is doing, it is helping you align with the things that are right and meant for you. So as much as it sucks, because all loss you know, sucks. Sometimes when things were stripped down to our core, it actually is the one thing that we needed to help us really remember what is important and why we do the things that we do. Okay. So you also got the full card. You got judgment, right? And you got the seven of wands. So what this tells me here is the universe is saying, hey, be a little fearless. It's time for a new beginning. Things are going to start happening for you. Um, and you're, you're going to take a chance because what's happening right now is you're really being asked to step up, step up to your calling, step up to, for the things that are right for you. Um, it's, you are on the, you have the advantage and people want what you have. So you might feel like you have to be a little defensive or that your guard is up a little bit or you're having to fight for what you want. Um, just understand that things that are meant for you, you're not going to have to fight for them. That the struggle and the idea that um, you have to you know, always be on the defensive. That is something that you've created in your mind. In reality, it's about just being convic having conviction for the things that are important for you. One minute, Lucas. Right now, you are showing up as the queen of, I mean, the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is someone that is abundant can be very can be single or can be kind of on their own at the moment but this is someone that is very independent knows that they can create their own abundance know that they are able to really shape the world that they live in and is very resourceful so i feel like right now what's happening i know today's reading is kind of short um just understand that everything you went through up until this point was really helping you and is going to continue to help you align with what is important for you. That the universe is saying, hey, I really just need you to take a chance right now. Allow yourself to be free spirited and go with the flow because you're stepping into what you're calling. Like, in re I don't, If not your calling, I feel like you're remembering who you are and really gaining your confidence back. Not always having to be so defensive about the way, why you do things or um, having to do things or having to always stand up for yourself. But I do believe that you need to have um, conviction and belief in what you are doing because it is important. Confidence is important. Um, just allow yourself to go with the flow when things things come back into balance. Um, I do see that you might be stepping into a place where you're asking, you're being asked to take action and to really become into that leadership role and maybe lead and teach others, share your story with others, allow others to see, um, or people might be searching for you for guidance. If you find, or you, if you're finding that you are searching for someone, um, that's going to help you do that. No, here in the near future, I see that action is going to be taken for that to happen. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Taurus. Um, I see Virgo. I see Gemini. Um, so if you're dealing with anyone like that, um, just know that the key right now is just kind of be patient with yourself. Just really stand up for what you believe in. Really hold true to your values and what's right for you. Don't allow anyone to sway your influence. Like you're being divinely led here for what you were meant to do. Trust the process right now. I do feel like you are getting ready to come into a time of like release and a time of really stepping into your own confidence and knowing who you are. Um, so don't try to rush anything. Things are going to kind of just happen. And if you see at the end of the deck, we got the star card. The star card is about faith, rejuvenation, purpose. 
So I, I do think that all of this is kind of happening. You're seeing some fast, faster movement. Stand true to what's right for you. Allow you, your values to align and just, you know, trust in the universe and trust that things will happen as they're meant for you. So if you're interested in a personal reading, um, my surgery did get bumped up until this Friday. So I will be closing down my schedule a little earlier than I thought I was going to. Um, I will continue to honor the readings that I have. I'll be recovered enough for that. Also, um, on the 15th of every month, I do a drawing. So make sure to put your email address in there and get in a chance for that free reading. If, and then also um, like, comment, subscribe if this reading resonates with you. And I hope to talk to you soon.